everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and in a continued effort to serve our customers, and not just our customers, but our potential viewers out there as well. Um, we put out these regular monthly uh, RV safety recall notices. I'm going to just give you some brief overviews of a few things. I'll leave more information in the video description where you might be able to see, do you have a potentially affected RV here? Some handy things like recall numbers, potential customer service numbers that you may be able to reach out to to see if you, know, you have something that might be affected. Um, I've got a decent list of things today, but first and foremost, I want to hit on something here that looks like it has spanned several years and could potentially have affected nearly a quarter of a million RVs on the road today. So what this real big one uh, actually stems from is not from a specific manufacturer. A lot of these actually, if you if you notice, a lot of people say, oh, well, well they, they put out a bad product. There's absolutely going to be some instances here where manufacturers have acknowledged their workmanship may have been faulty or suspect on something and they are making uh, the right efforts to get that corrected for your safety, which is nice. And all of this, of course, would be corrected at no cost to you. But this is an example of something that is actually not related to a specific manufacturer, but a, uh, I have notes that I'm looking at, by the way. This is, I try to go off the cuff, but um, I, unlike my normal walkthrough videos, I take safety pretty seriously and I want to make sure I got the right information here for me. But this is all related to a specific part, a Wintec 6020 two-stage propane regulator that over 245,000 RVs spanning multiple years have used. Um, the, the biggest notes that I have here come from Grand Design, Jayco, Heartland, and Keystone. There may be others. I don't, these are not necessarily every open recall that's out there. These are the ones I've been able to locate. Um, take a look in that video description. See if you have one of the RVs, because there's, there's RVs here that go back to 2016, 17, 18. They go back many, many years, all the way up through some 2021 models. And what's happening here is it is possible for something in that regulator to fail and allow excess uh, propane pressure to go through the, the lines, which could theoretically cause a flame in an RV to swell up greater than what you were expecting. Now, naturally, when you have a bigger flame than what you were thinking, that could be a potential fire hazard, which is why this is being addressed. From here, we're gonna move into things that are far more, we'll say, not quite as widespread and localized. We're gonna begin with uh, something I found on Road Trek. They have a number of um, 20 and 21 Zion and Play motorhomes whose um, undermount generator may have a faulty regulator and it could cause uh, damage to the AGM house batteries. Also, if those happen to have been replaced by lead acid batteries, it could cause issues with lead acid batteries as well. So basically that generator uh, regulator job needs to be replaced. And one that was actually tipped off by one of our customers here at Halet RV, Keystone's put a notice out for um, a very small number of 2021 Montana High Country fifth wheels, where the uh, the 120 volt uh, AC wiring mount harness basically may have been mounted improperly and it could allow it to become wet for an extended time. And obviously electricity and water don't mix. It basically just needs to get moved and then everything's honky dory. I'm saying basically too much. I said that last month. I I'm going to make an effort from here on out to not say basically, I'm not going to promise though. <laughs> now jumping over to Forest River, and I've got a couple Forest Rivers here, but the thing to remember is Forest River doesn't actually like build anything. It's, it's like a collection of unrelated companies under a shared banner. They operate almost completely autonomously. Um, and uh, we're going to begin with uh, something on Sierra Sandpiper here. Uh, by the way, Sear and Sandpiper, if you weren't aware, literally the exact same RV. Whatever affects one affects the other. They build one RV with two names. There's actually, uh, Forest River does a lot of that. Every company does things a little different. That's just what works for Forest River. It sounds like there may be instances uh, in which some of their floors were not attached to the proper, uh, the chassis properly might be a little loose. Obviously, you don't want the body of the RV going like a Lego brick off the chassis bopping down the road over to um, Salem and Wildwood, which similar to Sierra Sandpiper are the exact same thing. We happen to be a Wildwood dealer at Halet RV. If you own a Salem, it's the exact same thing, just with a different color skin, basically. Um, what's happening here is they're the supplier that sends them the orange and or the amber and the red tail marker clearance lights and whatnot, provided them with fixtures that may not have, well, well yeah, may not have proper 
light reflectivity for proper visuals at night, which is a, a highway safety risk. But thankfully, there's no like gas, fire risks, or anything like that going on in any of these. And two from over in Columbus. Uh, sounds like they have a couple 21s, which may have an improperly wired breakaway switch, which uh, I hope nobody ever needs to use one of those. Uh, but, you know, God forbid that that device becomes uh, an important thing in your towing scenario because you do have a disconnect from your, your fifth wheel. Uh, obviously, you want the breakaway switch to work. So it sounds like that may need to get replaced. And they have, um, some of them have a, uh, a swivel type of chair from a company called Allure. And it sounds like Allure sent them some chairs where the actual part that you sit in and the table or the leg base aren't necessarily connected solidly and properly. And if somebody a little chunkier like me sits on one, you might go, uh, you know, head over tea kettle in this thing, which is not exactly how that phrase goes, but I might work. And um, obviously you don't want to take a tumble anywhere. So those are things that could all need to be replaced. And it's not always just RVs. I also try to look for things like vehicles, you know, towing vehicles that are, are part of the scenario here. And I do hope folks appreciate that, like I mentioned how we're a Wildwood dealer, and there's going to be some things on here like a Montana High Country that we carry, and there's a lot of things that we don't. This is not about calling anybody out. I've said this before, if this is your first time joining us, the entire goal of this video is to keep you and your family safe, and we'll worry about how we feel about and who we're pointing fingers at later. Let's get you safe first. That's what this is all about right here. Uh, but over at Ford, they have some 21 F350 and 450s where uh, the, the fifth wheel prep kits, the left-hand fifth wheel prep bracket, apparently, specifically the left one, may be cracked from the factory and needs to be replaced. There's some 21 F-150s that may have a damaged internal steering gear, and obviously you don't want to lose your steering going down the road. Um, and then some 21 uh, dualies, you know, 350, 450, uh, 550, 600 series, I believe, was mentioned in this. Um, they may have some improperly installed wheel hubs attaching to the rotors, which theoretically could potentially cause uh, a wheel to separate and, well, lose a wheel going down the road. That's obviously a major cause for concern that they need to get corrected. Now over to Daimler Vans. Um, Daimler? I stretched that one out funny. Obviously, I don't edit my videos. Over to Daimler Vans, uh, they have a couple here on, first of all, a 2020 Mercedes uh, Sprinter chassis. They may have improperly uh, tightened door hinges, which could actually be causing the doors to like have too much of a gap from the rest of the body of the RV. And then some 19 to 20 uh, Sprinter and Freightliner chassis with the swiveling seats, they may not have been routed properly, and what this could be causing is the seat could bind up, and it could theoretically block the um, side airbag system from working properly. And again, kind of like a breakaway switch, kind of like cough medicine, kind of like health insurance. I hope nobody ever needs those things, but in the event that you do need them, I sure hope that they're in good working order, and I, I think that anybody can sympathize with that. Oh, boo, wow. Wow, stretching back to 2012 up through 21, Dodge has just shy of half a million Ram pickups may have been shipped from their factory with over-installed or over-tightened lug nuts, which could result in some cracking of the wheel studs, which um, basically means that the, the bolts that hold your tires on could be cracked and you could lose the tire in transit. Uh, nobody wants that. Newmar has put a notice out on some of their motorhomes uh, ranging from 2017 up through 21, and again, specific details on which models and which years I'll leave down in the description so that I'm not just sitting here reading to you, which is largely what I am doing, obviously. But uh, basically, there could be a thing with their, their Cummins fuel assembly where um, fuel is allowed to get out of where it shouldn't be and get into, or get out of where it should be and into where it shouldn't be, potentially causing a, uh, a fire hazard in the uh, engine systems. I found a pair of notices here from KZ, uh, both relating to 21s. Uh, first of all, Stratus and Sporttech travel trailers, their water heaters may have been um, wired to an incorrectly sized circuit breaker, so there may not be the proper fire safety kickoff disconnect involved there. And secondly, over to their Connect travel trailers, they have some Connect travel trailers which may actually have too light of a tongue weight. A light tongue weight is very nice when you're thinking, oh, I can pair this up to more vehicles. But if the tongue weight of a trailer is too light, 
the nose of the trailer gets floaty and the tail gets real wiggle waggly, technical term, by the way, that you can look that up on page 37 of my RV Nerd Definitionary. Um, and uh, long story short, it could be a case of the tail wagging the dog, it could cause excess sway in an unsafe towing scenario. Thor Motor Coach has put a little notice out on um, a bunch of their 2022, their very recently uh, released Class B motorhomes. I think they've just swapped over to a new solar system, and it sounds like their Flex 190 solar junction box may potentially have an issue where it might short out. And they're, I, I like the fact that they're getting that corrected now instead of waiting you know, years down the line to see how much is this going to affect us. Let's just make sure that it's corrected, it's right, it's safe now, and it sounds like it's something that they caught very early in their production, so the vast majority of those going out the rest of the year probably won't be affected. Triple E Motorhomes, who make things like the um, Serenity, the Unity, the Wonder, um, it sounds like on their three-way refrigerators, the flame deflector on propane mode behind the thing may not be mounted correctly. It sounds like it might be mounted too low, which could potentially cause the flame to be able to touch some wood product, which is causing some charring or theoretically long-term could obviously be a, a potential fire hazard. And they're uh, putting a recall notice out to put an extension on that deflector free of charge, obviously, to, uh, you know, <laughs> keep, keep her from being a fire breather, as it were. General Motors has also put out a little notice on 2019 Sierra and um, Silverado 1500s. It sounds like they may have been provided over-cured tires which could potentially cause the tires to break down prematurely, which, especially when you're towing and have extra weight and stress in those, could be a theoretical uh, towing safety concern for some folks. So they're getting those things corrected. Genesis RV has put a notice out on their... I gotta check my notes, I'm sorry. I'm not familiar with that company, so their names don't come as easily to me. Genesis, Vortex, and Wanderer travel trailers and fifth wheels. Sounds like the uh, Dometic three burner stove that they were using may have a potential gas leak. And finally, a number of 2020 and 21 Heartland travel trailers, I think specifically uh, Trail Runners, uh, Wilderness, and Mallard. Uh, those with outside camp kitchens, it sounds like. Um, the uh, <laughs> I call it the propane cooker hooker may not have been um, installed or the LP lines may not have been tightened properly, which, cause, which could allow a uh, potential LP leak. And that's all I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you appreciate the fact that here at our family-owned and operated place, we are willing to not just say we put safety before the sale, but demonstrate we put safety before the sale. Whether you are, and where this is really beneficial is if you're the original owner of any of these products, you should be getting a recall notice in the mail. And some of these uh, informations that I'm putting out here, manufacturers have not yet begun to distribute those recall notices. So if you have a potentially affected unit and you haven't seen a notice on this yet, don't have a heart attack. A lot of these, I'm, I'm on the early cusp of some of these. Um, so just give it a little time, you'll get your notice and you'll be able to get everything corrected. Um, but whether you are the first time owner or especially a second time owner, or if you're a, a owner of a pre-owned RV, that's where I think this information is the most beneficial because you're not always privy to those uh, bits of information as they come out. And if you appreciate the way that we take the time out of the day to stop and talk about some things like this that are not fun, that are not exciting, that are not attractive, but are 100% designed with the idea of serving you and keeping you safe, subscribe and follow along here to our family owned and operated facility and know that obviously we're willing to give you the straight skinny on everything that we have here. So as always, Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo Camping, everyone.